Now, for those who have come to know me, you probably realize that I don't get too overly excited about too many things, but Google's quiet release of Nano Banana has completely blown me away. Today, I'm going to share with you why I'm so impressed with this tool and what really sets it apart from other tools like it. And also, I'll share with you a secret hack that a lot of people have been sharing on how to use this tool for free with no limits. So let's get into it. Now, to get access to Nano Banana, you're going to need to go into Gemini or Google AI Studio. So if you go into Gemini, you want to make sure that here, the model that you're using is the 2.5 Flash model. And that's how you would access Nano Banana. And then under the prompt box under Tools, you're going to click Create Images with that little banana next to it. The major thing that I find sets Nano Banana apart from all other image generation AI tools is the fact that it's able to keep the character consistency really accurate. If you've ever uploaded an image of yourself and asked an AI to just do simple things like change the color of your shirt or change the background that's behind me, it's able to do that, but, but it kind of disfigures or changes the look of your face with every rendition. And by the time you've done like three or four different edits to it, you no longer look like yourself anymore. So I'll show you a comparison of what I'm going to be doing with a popular tool like ChatGPT and ask it the same thing that I'm going to be asking Nano Banana to do. Now I'm due for a new pair of glasses this year. So if in future videos, you notice that my look has changed a little bit, that's probably why. But I always wanted to try on a pair of glasses virtually and try them on my face before I actually go into the store and order or just order them online. With Nano Banana, you're actually able to do that now. So I already found the pair of glasses that I want to try on my face. What I'm going to do is I'm going to upload a picture of myself along with the frames that I want to try on. And then I'll instruct Nano Banana to put these glasses on my face just so that I can see what uh, they look like. So I gave it a simple prompt saying, create a new image replacing the glasses that I have uh, on my face with these glasses that I have attached. This was the original photo that I uploaded. And this is the image that it gave me with the new glasses on. I actually do have the glasses that I said I would buy. Uh, just for comparison, to see how accurate it actually was in being able to describe or being able to generate what it would look like. So these are the glasses that I asked Nano Banana to put on me virtually versus what they look like on my face. What do you think? So I'm going to use another tool like ChatGPT to ask it to do the same thing and putting these glasses on my face virtually and see what the result looks like. So I gave ChatGPT the exact same prompt with the exact same images and let's see what kind of a result it produces. Now, I don't know if you can see this very clearly and I don't know about you, but when I look at this, that looks not like me. But this is what I mean, where it managed to do the simple task of replacing the glasses, but along with it, it kind of disfigures your face so that it doesn't look like you anymore, like I mentioned before. So if you compare this result with what's here, I would say it's worlds apart as to how it's able to keep everything intact. Now, if you've watched a lot of videos like this, uh, where you watch other people use these tools, but haven't really tried it yourself, I would highly recommend that you actually log in and try using these tools for yourself. As I really do believe that when you use tools like these on your own, you learn a lot more than watching other people do it. And this is why I've partnered with our sponsor of this video today, Brilliant. Brilliant is a learning app that is designed to be very effective. Each lesson is filled with hands-on problem-solving material that lets you play with the concepts that you've learned. And learning like this has proven to be six times more effective than just listening and lecture-style lessons. It covers topics like math, science, computer science and programming, all the way to AI as well. In addition to that, the content on Brilliant's platform is all designed by an award-winning team of educators, teachers, and professionals from very notable institutions like Stanford, MIT, Caltech, Microsoft, and Google. I really like the Brilliant app because of its hands-on nature of teaching and learning. To start for free with Brilliant, you can just click the description below and check them out. Brilliant has also offered our viewers 20% off the annual subscription, which gives you unlimited daily access to everything on Brilliant. Thank you, Brilliant, for sponsoring this video. Now, this time I'm going to ask Nano Banana to generate a new image with multiple different changes, like changing my shirt color, uh, maybe changing my glasses, 
um, and maybe even trying on what tattoos would look like on my arm or on my neck. So I gave Nano Banana a prompt to ask it to give me a tattoo on my arm and a Korean tattoo on my neck and also to change the color of my shirt to blue and maybe create a logo for Nano Banana on it. So let's see what it comes up with. Now, as you can see, like I mentioned, the character consistency is just incredible. I still look the same as I did in the previous uh, image, but as you can see, it did exactly what I asked it to do. It gave me a tattoo on my neck. It gave me the tattoo that I asked for on the arm and the blue shirt with Nano Banana on it. I must say the face still looks like the original photo, which is the most important part. What's really cool as well is you're able to change the perspective and the angle that you're looking at, at the photo from. I can even have Nano Banana make the photo of myself look like they're looking away from the screen or looking away from the camera and maybe even tilt it upwards a little bit. So I prompted it to change the perspective of the camera lens to shoot slightly from bottom up and also for me to be looking off to my left. So as you can see, it still kept the face uh, pretty accurate to what I would look like. Like if I were to look to the left like this, I don't know if you can compare what it would look like, but I, I would say that it looks pretty li much like me or what I would look like if I were to actually look to the left. But it didn't seem to manage to change the camera angle from going from bottom up but I'm sure with several more rounds of prompting, it would be able to do that as well. So one personal use case for me, since I create YouTube videos, I have to design thumbnails to package every video that I produce. I uploaded the photo that I used previously for my demonstrations, and I even asked it to give me more of an expressive face or a shocked face, and I asked it to have me holding a banana with an arrow pointing to it saying that it's insane. And what it came up with was something like this. Now, just so that you know, I didn't actually make that face that expressively, um, nor was I actually holding a natural banana, but that I would say is pretty impressive. The outcome was pretty realistic. I think even when I look at myself in that photo, that looks like me if I were to make that expression. Like when I use ChatGPT to do the same, this is what it produced. Now, I don't know about you. Um, you might think that looks like me, but when I look at that, that's definitely not me. And the word uh, insane is pointing directly at me instead of the banana like I asked it to, uh, implying maybe something else. Comparing that to what Nano Banana um, managed to produce here, I think they're worlds apart. Another really cool use case that I thought of for Nano Banana was for real estate. Staging a home is actually quite effective in selling, but at the same time, it's very expensive. Now what you could probably do is just take a picture of your room and ask Nano Banana to stage it for you. I've experimented with it that you can take a picture of a room and ask it to modernize it or for renovation ideas or even rearrange the furniture so that you don't have to and see what it looks like before you actually do rearrange it yourself. So what I've done is I've taken a picture of an empty room that I just found online and asked it to maybe stage it, or I'm going to ask it to furnish it so that it looks modern and refreshing and something that would be appealing to potential buyers. So as you can see, this is the original image that I uploaded and it's managed to keep the room exactly the way it looks, except it's staged it with furniture. So it's added some house plants and decorated it with a couch and a chair, which I think looks actually quite good. But what if your home isn't empty and it's full of furniture that you wanted to rearrange? So I'm going to experiment to see if it's able to rearrange the furniture that's in the picture. So I'm prompting Nano Banana to take a look at the original photo and see if it can come up with three different arrangements of the, of the room with the same furniture in it. The idea is that it would move the furniture around for you so that you don't have to do it yourself. So here it's come up with hopefully three different ideas of how it can be re rearranged. So just as an idea, this was the original room. And let's see how differently it was able to rearrange it. This looks like the same room to me. It might have moved the lamp from this corner to that. So not revolutionary, but it has managed to rearrange some of the furniture and some of the other ideas. So uh, the desk and the um, shelf seems to have moved. And the desk and the shelves have moved here as well. And the carpet has stayed intact. 
So if you have really big or like heavy furniture, like let's say a piano in the room, and you want to see what it would look like or where, how else you can arrange the room, instead of having to spend a lot of energy and time trying to move the piano, you can just simply ask it, hey, how many different ways can you rearrange this room with the piano without actually having to move the piano first? Now, how about if I'm just sick of the way it looks and I just want to modernize the room altogether? Let's see what it does. So if within a few seconds, it's come up with new ideas. As you can see, the room looks pretty much exactly the same. Just to remind you, this was the original room. And this is the first idea it came with, which I think is great. As instructed, it didn't change much. It didn't change the windows, uh, but it did change the furniture in it. This is another perspective or an angle, an idea as to how you can refurnish this room. And this one as well, which I think are great outcomes for what you were asking it to do. Another cool use case would be product photography. Maybe if you took a photo of a product, like let's say I have uh, my uh, Super Dad mug here. It actually says uh, Super Dad on it. So I asked it to create a sales poster for this particular mug uh, with lighting changes, with water splashing out of it, and even changing the mug to say Super Mom instead of Dad. It gave me a new image of the mug. Uh, as, as the one that I showed you. So this is the mug it used to look like. And if you compare it, I think it looks pretty accurate with the mom even being in the same font uh, as the dad and exactly what I asked it to do. Now, I think that looks super cool. And this is what I mean by character consistency. You can tell that even the littlest details like these little star decorations and the font is exactly intact from the original graphic. Google has also published a prompting guide uh, to help with the image generation and to be able to produce uh, very accurate and uh, usable images. So I will uh, list this prompt guide in the description below so that you can take a look. Uh, but as you can see, it's got lots of examples of what it's capable of doing along with the actual prompt that they use to generate these images. As I was uh, looking through them, I thought this was super cute with the sticker. So let's say with the product photography, you wanted to sell this mug and uh, along with it, you wanted to brand it with stickers like this and maybe even with uh, my face on it. I'm going to copy and paste uh, this prompt that it gave me in their prompting guide uh, and throw it in here. And I'm going to modify the prompt to use me as the figure uh, instead and maybe holding the mug. So as you can see in a matter of seconds, it came up with a sticker of me uh, holding the mug Super Dad, which I think is really cool. Now, as promised, I'm going to share with you how you can use Nano Banana completely for free with unlimited usage. So if you open up an incognito browser, you're gonna go to lmarena.ai. And this is a platform that allows you to get access to multiple different AI platforms. I'll do the security verification. You're going to click on battle, then direct chat. And from here, you can pick any model that you want. But by default, if you click generate images, it already picks Gemini 2.5 flash image preview, which is nano banana. You're able to use this tool completely for free without any limits. And if you do hit a limit, you can just close the incognito browser and open up a new one and start all over again. But as you can see with my Google Gemini account, uh, it's actually the free version that I'm using. And I was able to generate all of these images without being stopped with a limit. So I think the maximum limit cap for even for uh, free use on Nano Banana on Gemini or Google AI Studio is quite generous. With such powerful tools like Nano Banana coming out for people to use, tools like this really should be used with a great deal of respect and responsibility since it could be really used for ethical but also unethical reasons. If you work with a lot of images or graphics or editing and design, Nano is such a powerful tool that can really help you boost your productivity in your work or even in your personal life. Our creativity is really the only limiting factor to what this tool can do for you. And you can probably create images of yourself traveling to all sorts of places in the world and meeting all different types of people. But really that never replaces the lived experiences of actually meeting the people that you want to meet with and going to the places that you've always dreamed of going to. I hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you plan on doing with Nano Banana. I wanna thank you once again for the time that you spent with me today and I hope to see you in the next one.
Bye.